Okay, welcome back guys. This is part two of the unboxing review of this CSX number 3194. Today we're now going to try to see how it runs, how the functions work, everything. So what I do, I just turn on the power. That's a church bell, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another dead truck. He had it on there. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is loud again. Messing up with us. We're having some issues. Yeah, it's just loud, and Ricky knows it's loud. It always has problems. There we go. There it's we moving. go. Okay, so I'll do a press zero. There it goes. Okay. There's a couple. There goes the dislikes. Yeah, nice. Yeah, those are very nice. And there goes the sound. Okay, so when you press 5, all the lights go up. When you press O. Another thing I like about this is that there's lights on the walkway. Oh wow, there's even a little light at the front. There's a little light at the front of the walkway as well. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. She's right there. No, it's not visible. Mm -hmm. There's even one in the back. There's one thing, there's one thing I like about Scott's change. They always make a pop. Yeah, we can see it. See that. Yeah, we can see that one. Yeah. That was very, very nice. And we'll see how it how looks when the horn blows on these two dislikes. See, I had to go all the way to six miles on scale speed to start it up. That's just how realistic it is. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Turn it backwards. This locomotive people has momentum. That means that this locomotive will not run with like the other locomotives like MTH or any locomotive that does not have momentum. If you've seen videos of these locomotives, scale trains locomotives, and if you see a person trying to put another locomotive from a different company and try to double head, whatever you do, do not do it. Because if you do, 
all it's going to do is going to burn up that other locomotive. It's not going to burn up this locomotive, it's going to burn up that locomotive. Because what, if you put it at the front or in the back, all that locomotive is going to do is going to try to pull this heavy locomotive. And this locomotive is heavy. You can even try to hold it. So whatever you do, do not run this bubble head with any other company like MTH, Anthem Genesis, Anthem, Bachman, neither of them. Just, if you want a double head, this locomotive with another locomotive, run with the same company that made this. Another scale train locomotive. Because if you don't, all you're doing is going to burn up that other locomotive that you have. So yeah, all we're going to do now is going to let this run. We're going to lay up. No, seriously. This locomotive is just amazing. It literally takes time to start up. Now, excuse me, I went all the way to 22 and it took that long to start up. That's when you know you have an amazing locomotive. And I just love the sound as well. The sound sounds amazing. Everything. What do you think, Ricky? I think Look. it runs great. Mm -hmm. The attention to detail is just impeccable. It really is. Their detailing is on an all different type of level, people. You don't get detail like that with any other looking <laughs> order. You only get that type of realism and detailism with scale trains. That is one amazing open roof. I will give it that. So what would you think for the ratings from one to five stars will we get give this book one? A ten. A ten? <laughs> yep. It's off the charts, people. Yep. It's off the charts. I'll give the mechanism and with all the detailing, the power of this book one, everything on this is a ten. Like seriously, you don't get this with any other look one, like at all. You just don't. Scale did their job with excellence, people. Yeah, they really did. Stop. 
Well, people, that was an amazing run for this one locomotive. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below on what you think of this locomotive. Would you buy it? Would you get one? And if you do, you should. This is one amazing locomotive. As I say, see you down the line, people.